Hey, well, I mean, wow. You are the best. Thanks for keeping your mouth shut and doing your time. I mean, it was way more time than either of us were expecting. I don't know what was in those boxes we blew up, but they were, wow, were they mad. Anyway, I promise you're not going to regret this. Now let's get you out of here. Given that the offender has faithfully observed the rules of the institution, offender has been granted supervised early release. Please sign for your possessions. Inmate's possessions are as follows. Desk, one. Inmate must state their name, print their name, then sign their name. After the tone, state your name into the desk. Inmate's name is now preserved for the permanent record as... <laughs> Moving on. Now, type your name. Moving on. Now, sign your name. As a condition of supervised early release, parolee and desk agree to report within 15 days. Hey, don't listen to her. You don't need to worry about reporting to your parole officer. Guess who spent the last 18 months getting his probation agent license through the mail? Yep, me. That's right. I'm your parole officer. I mean, not just you. I'm managing like seven guys on parole right now. But... They're basically reintegrated back into society. Well, not Tony. He's struggling a little, but anyway, that's all I was doing. I got something to show you. Let's get out of here. It is never too late to met. You are both free to go. Oh, uh, bring your desk. Okay. I streamlined the turret while you were gone, introducing the Mark III. Ta-da! So I got rid of all the parts that fell off and just kept the stuff that worked. I mean, it was totally over-engineered, so it just does one thing now, it shoots. It didn't need a satellite dish, that was just dumb. Here, tried on these appliances I found, they were just lying around in the housewares research department in, in a locked room. That tattoo on your neck. Did you do it yourself? It's like a, is it a dragon holding a knife? It's nice. The more I look at the tattoo, the more I'm thinking we should both have it. Cause then we'd be tattoo bros. Anybody would look at us and know we are friends. You think you give me the same tattoo? Would that be weird? It would be weird having the same exact one. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll think of it. What about like a robot arm coming out of the side of my head and it's holding a wrench? So you've got the dragon and the knife. Mine's similar, but more robot themed. Man, that'd be so cool. Oh, speaking of being cool, I've got something even better to show you. Gyroscopic controls. It's real easy. Just pick up the desk, tilt it around to aim, and keep that thumb on the right thumbstick. And you shoot with the right trigger like normal. Go on, try it. It's real easy. Just pick up the desk. How much did the tattoo hurt? When you gave it to yourself, did you have the proper tools? I would bet not actually, now that I'm thinking about it. You probably had to heat up a pin with the lighter or something. That sounds, I mean, that sounds pretty awesome. Another tattoo idea I just had, instead of a robot hand coming out holding a wrench, what if it was like a skeleton hand? You know, so you're looking at it like, what's he trying to say? Is he human on the inside, or does he have like a skeleton trapped in him? You know what? Skeleton arm tattoo. I decided. That's the one I want. So when we get a free minute, I'll find a pen, and we can heat up that light. All right, everything checks out. 
This thing is perfect. I think we're good to go here. So, I was saving the best for last, but while you were in jail, I got us a meeting to show our turret to Cave Johnson. That's right, the owner of the company. No pressure, but if he likes this, he's gonna make us rich forever. Are you ready? Let's go. What are you gonna do with your share of the money? I know what I'm gonna do is pay off the money I borrowed to make this turret. Like immediately pay it off. Or I'll, I mean, whew, I'll be in some real trouble. Plus the VIG, I'll have to pay that too. Does it make sense to you that the VIG is more than what I borrowed in the first place? It doesn't seem like it. It's weird. Somebody overrode the controls. Hold on. Huh, that's one of the appliances I stole from housewares. Oh, geez, he's got a gun! It's an ambush! Man, he got that turret good, huh? Good thing I brought a couple of spears. I knew it! It's the housewares department. How did they find out about our turret? I can't believe it! They stole our idea, and now they're gonna kill us with it. Housewares, man. They're never gonna stop ambushing us. I mean, it's not really an ambush anymore. We know they're coming, but I don't think they're gonna stop coming, though. We need to think of something else. I really think they're going to keep coming for, like, basically forever. Housewares, man. Can you believe it? Those guys are such pieces of... What did we ever even do to them? Switch back then. Okay. Nice work. I got the elevator working again, but we have another 80 floors before we get the cave. We're not going to survive 80 ambushes in a row. Your desk should have some buttons on the underside of it. Those fire the rockets that got built into the desk. They put those on there standard now for safety reasons. So, if you hit all four buttons at once, it should rocket us up through all 80 levels real fast and then up through the floor of Cave's office. It's also just now occurring to me that there's no roof on this elevator. Automatic death launch sequencer engaged. Here we go. We are going for launch. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Modesty panel set to flight configuration. Three, two, one. We have liftoff. 